add into, and let me try to get rid of this um, big toolbar at the top. Okay, there we go. What I'm going to show you first is how to get a PowerPoint onto someone's phone, and I'm going to put it on yours, but in a kind of really cool way. This is a brand new feature. I just want to show you where I am. I'm at the website office.com. You might remember at the beginning of the semester, we learned about PowerPoint online and Office online, Word online. I think it was one of our first assignments. So what I'm going to do is I went to office.com, logged in with our school email, clicked PowerPoint, and I'm opening today's PowerPoint that we're going to make together um, here on the screen. This is the four slides. We're going to make it about Shelley Pet Hospital and Wellness Center. But I want to show you something that you may want to use in your speech class coming up or in other classes throughout your semester, especially if you're presenting online. If you click slideshow right here, there's this new tool called Present Live. And I have set it to anyone. I'm going to click this Present Live and everybody now grab your smartphone. I'm going to grab mine too. And now that I've grabbed my smartphone right here, what I want to do is open my camera. And if you're watching the recording, this isn't going to work. But for those who are live in the class, it will. Now you can tap. When you turn on your camera, point it toward the screen. And then um, you'll get a little pop-up that says web page. Tap here. And you guys are starting to figure it out. I love it. First thing that you'll see once you join me, and I've got a 12 of you in here. Let me go through it again. Open your camera, point it at the screen, and then tap it like you're doing a menu at a restaurant. Um, so there we go. I got a few more of you. I should hopefully get you up to about 20 in here. And then what I want you to do is tap the happy face in the bottom right and start tapping the emojis, everybody. And now you can give feedback to whoever is presenting in your class. So it's kind of cool. I can actually now show my slides here in a minute. But before I do, I want you to notice what I'm saying live is showing up as closed captioning on your phone. And what's super cool about this is if you were presenting in a business that had a worldwide audience of people from all over the world, Everybody now tap, turn off your emojis, just for a moment, just tap it again, and then click the word English down at the bottom, and now you can switch it into 67 different languages. So in other words, I could be speaking English, but on your phone, it's showing up in 67 different languages live. So if you pick Spanish, and I said hello, it's saying hola, and I ask, how are you? And it says, como esta usted? So it's really neat that it can actually do this instant translation. And as I go through my slides, here's my first one. Everybody open your emojis and give me some applause for my first slide. Go ahead. Let me see some applause. You guys are awesome. And if you keep tapping it over and over again, it comes up really quick. Look up on my screen. And if I go to the next slide, I want to show you something on your phone. So what I want you to do is click on the arrow that's underneath the slide with the dogs on the left that has a left arrow. If you click that, you can actually go to an earlier slide and be on an earlier slide in the presentation if your teacher or the presenter goes by too quickly. And you can even zoom in on that slide. Put two fingers on your slide and put your fingers apart, you'll notice your slide gets much bigger if you were um, visually impaired, right? Do you see what we mean here? To get to the current slide, click on the current slide button. And now, hey, if you think the dog is cute on the screen, give me some emojis here. There you go. Love it. So this is something new in PowerPoint. So if you have a presentation, in one of your other classes, if you use this, I bet the teacher will be amazed and have no idea how to do this. And at any point in time, I can click back on this welcome screen again. So for example, if somebody just grabbed their phone and hasn't joined yet, they could open their camera and point real quick at the screen to get joined in. And if 
they didn't have a phone, you can actually type in this web address into a PC, a Mac, and even, finally, a Chromebook, and it actually works even on a Chromebook. So you could type in this address right here and be in the middle of my slides at any time. And by the way, it's up here as well. So if you don't see it while we're presenting live, it works pretty well. And there's our last slide today. Uh, let's see, look at these beautiful dogs in obedience school. So everybody, uh, pretty cool. So uh, let me get out of my slides now for a minute and show you how I made this slide presentation. So um, let's see, I'm kidding. Okay, so now let me open up my uh, a slide. So what we're going to do is together, I want to show you how most of you know how to use PowerPoint, maybe, but maybe this is your very first time. It's hard to tell since your schools use a lot of Chromebooks. So what I want to do here is when I first opened PowerPoint, I typed in PowerPoint down here on a PC or Mac. It opens to PowerPoint. And look at some of these design ideas that come up. Some of these actually have moving graphics in the back. Isn't that cool for a background, just a video background? So you can pick these backgrounds, but I can also go to File and New, and I can look through any of the backgrounds that are built in here as well. In fact, you don't have to go with these backgrounds. You can search for backgrounds online. If I type like basketball, let's say I love basketball, I could maybe use this instead, but, or I could type in golf and find, yeah, that doesn't look like golf to me, but okay. So you can find some of these really cool backgrounds uh, that are here. So if I want to uh, select a background as we go through ours in a minute here, um, I could start with one and change it um, as I go through or start off with a blank presentation. Uh, look at these even, look at that. Oh, that's a cool one. Look at the video on the back of that. Uh, it's a little blurry. Now it's a little bit better. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So you're welcome to pick any of these for your presentation. But if we went under design, they have a lot of different layouts. The one that the book ultimately uses is called Integral. So um, I'm going to change this one to Integral here. Let me uh, get rid of that first slide and uh, add a new fresh slide. Here's what it looks like. And we can change the colors of this. Um, if we just drop this arrow down by variants, first of all, you could pick these different variants kind of looks like wallpaper to me. But you could also pick different color themes, like to match your company or your business or anything that you're doing. The one in the book, they're picking this one called yellow. And super easy to add text. You could just type in Shelly Pet Hospital and Wellness. And how the book suggests that you do things is first, don't put any pictures in yet. Uh, and then first do all your slides, your text, so we can type in quality care for pets and their families. Hey, to do the next slide, pretty easy to do. Go to the Home tab, and we're going to click on um, New Slide. If you hit the top half of the new slide, you automatically get what they call a default slide. It looks like this. But if you want to pick different layouts, you pick the bottom half of the new slide. So for the second slide, we click the top half and we talked about their services. And as they click down here, they do things like um, emergency care. And underneath the one that they did, they wanted to have, after we hit enter, they wanted to indent this little bit and put a little bullet. Notice I came up here. There's an increase indent or increase list level and a decrease. For time's sake, I'm not going to type everything in and bore you in that fashion. And then they add two more slides at the end. 
On the third slide, they just have grooming services. And on the fourth slide, they have obedience class. And then next, they put in some pictures. So all we have to do to insert pictures is go to insert and pictures. Uh, the book gave us some pictures, so I'm going to go with the ones that they gave us here real quick. So for example, let me go find these. I can never find them that quick uh, from my download folder here. Uh, IT115. Let's see, PowerPoint module one. So I'm going to go grab these little pictures. And the picture on the first slide is of our vet. And when you put these pictures in, they show you these great design ideas over here. I love these. They might be great for your personal PowerPoint that you create, but typically the ones in the book just have you resize it a little bit. For example, on slide three, we're gonna put some grooming services in here. Uh, for example, like this, if you remember the picture from earlier, and I can, of course, resize these images. And in slide four, if I insert some pictures, I can grab the two from obedience class here. There we go. Whoops, I think I got the wrong ones. There we go. Ah, I'm going to have an extra one in here. And when they come in, I can just pull them apart from each other. Although, look at these cool designs. Make sure you use some of those cool designs when you do your slides because I think they're nicer than the ones that they do plain in the book. So now I can put my little image. I'm going to use one of these because they're just too pretty. Um, so now we can lay everything around and to get our presentation together here. I want to show you how to run a slideshow. If you're not running it using office.com and PowerPoint online, you would just click slideshow right here. And when you're ready to put your slides together, let me show the finished slides to make them prettier. I'm going to go under slideshow and go from beginning is how you start the slideshow. What this does is put your slide in full screen. And let me show you how my voice is doing closed captioning at the top of the slide right now. Under slideshow, they now have something called subtitles. And the subtitles can go from one language to another or stay in the same language. You can use these subtitles and put them up at the bottom, at the top, below, and above. So that's how when I now hit from beginning, my voice is automatically doing closed captioning here. If I want to go to the next slide, notice down here there are some arrows at the bottom. But in the bottom left hand corner, I want everyone to see these three dots down here. If I click the three dots, I get something called Show Presenter View. Everybody look up right now because I need you to see this piece. This is new. So if I click the three dots in the bottom left hand corner, go to Show Presenter View, I want you to imagine we're back at the college. Your presenting to the class that day. So you go up to the front of the classroom, to the teacher's computer, you load your slides. But on the wall, you have the projector, you know, with the screen. And the big slides are showing up there. This is what the audience would see, but full size, if you use this presenter view. So think of this slide, all the way big. But on your computer that you're presenting with, you get to see this, and you say, why is this so helpful? Well, it tells me I've been presenting 38 minutes, or 38 seconds so far. It also shows me what my next slide is so I can transition nicely into it. I can see all of my slides. Even when I look at all of my slides, the audience is still seeing just the big slides. So they're not seeing you going, hmm, what do I still have time for? I also have a magnifying glass. If I click on her face, the, the audience would see on the big screen just her face blown up like that. And if I click on it again, it goes away. 
I can even get something called a laser pointer. <laughs> and if I wanted to make sure everybody sees the word quality, I can also put notes in here like note cards so you wouldn't be holding them in front of the audience. So you could hide your notes here. The audience wouldn't see them because all they're seeing is this slide much bigger. So now I can go through my presentation. Oh, look right here. I can see my notes and I can even say, we offer quality dog and cat grooming services performed by our experienced pet stylist. <laughs> but the audience doesn't know I'm reading from my notes because it's just on my presentation screen. They're not seeing that part. So this is a great way for you to do speech class and present in companies and businesses throughout. And when we finish, it, we just click out of it and it goes back into what we call the slide creation area.